Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marisa Kazem and today I'm going to be showing you my April setup in my bullet journal. So for the month of April, I decided to do a Mulan theme. If you're new to my channel, basically for this entire year, I am picking a different Disney princess to do for each monthly theme. Um, there are 12 official princesses and so I thought it would fit perfectly and for this month I'm doing Mulan because I felt that Mulan really fit the springtime well because we see a lot of those like pink blossoms and here in LA there are a ton of pink trees everywhere and it really made me think of Mulan so that's why I decided to do Mulan for my April theme. Also for this month you're going to notice that I went a little bit more simple with my drawings and I'm just going to explain why before you see all of the drawings. So basically if you're new to my channel, a year ago in February, so February 2021, my dad passed away from COVID and his funeral was in March and his birthday is in March. So this last month in March has been very difficult for me. But on top of that, my dad's cousin passed away a few weeks ago this year in March and we had to fly out for his memorial and so it was just a lot going on this March and I didn't have enough time to make this theme as detailed as I normally would have. So for example on this cover page, these are the lanterns that we see by the Imperial Palace and the lanterns, when you see them close up, they normally have a tree design on them, but because I didn't have time this month with everything going on, I just kept it more simple. So I just wanted to let you guys know I've been going through a lot this month. I'm reliving my dad's funeral, going through his birthday, and then my dad's cousin, who I loved so much, also died at a very young age, suddenly out of nowhere, and I'm just going through a lot. So. This theme is a little more simple than I would normally do, like my Ariel and my Belle theme, you know, I recreated Belle's library and I recreated Ariel's grotto and for this month I couldn't do anything as intricate as that, but I really love the way this theme turned out. It was more simple for me, but still very colourful and bright and it really made me think of Mulan, so I hope you guys still like the theme. Out of all the Disney princesses that I've done so far, this is the most cultured theme I would say because Belle, Ariel and Snow White, the themes that I've done so far, are not specific to any culture, they're just very generic. I know that Belle is meant to be a French setting but none of the things we see are particularly French, they're just like things in the movie, but in Mulan we do see more of an influence from China and I really wanted to try and capture that in these spreads. Also, so the quote that I put on my cover page was the hardest step she ever took was to blindly trust in who she was by the philosopher Atticus and I really wanted to include that quote because it really reminded me of Mulan. I know that in Mulan the emperor says a quote I don't remember what it was, but it was something about the flower blossoming and how rare its beauty is and I was going to include that, but it didn't make me think of how strong Mulan was and that's one of the, my favorite characters about Mulan, like her personality trait is how strong she was and she literally had to blindly trust in herself. I mean, she'd never been to a war before. She just had to trust that she could do it and set on that mission. And I really wanted that to shine through for my quote page. Also for this month, this is something I haven't done before. I combined my calendar, goals, positivity log and mood tracker all in one spread and I did a Dutch door. The reason I did this was also to help cut back on the drawing because I really needed to save time this month. So the small building that you see on the left side, that is the prayer, 
tower or I don't know what to call it, but building. It was the building that Mulan and her father pray in and we'd seen them pray to their ancestors and I really wanted to include that but for this month, because I didn't have enough time, I did not include any Chinese writing anywhere. I really wanted to initially and try to mimic some of the stuff that we see written on those stones inside the tower. But again, I did not have time for that and I don't speak Chinese, I don't write Chinese and it would have taken me a lot more time to do that. And if I was going to do that, I would want it to be as accurate as possible. I wouldn't want it to have any errors. So I just drew the tower from a distance with the steps climbing up to it. The inspiration for this angle and this perspective of the tower is based off of a Thomas Kincaid painting of Mulan. It shows Mulan and Shang and then some other stuff in the background and it shows the tower at a distance and that's the photo that I used as my reference for this painting. And then on the other side here, we have the pink blossom tree that is in her family garden and it also had the bench next to it where we see her and her father sit at and I decided to make it a Dutch door and make it fit on both pages and I'm sure you're wondering what am I doing right now with painting on a separate piece of paper. If you watched my Snow White theme you'll see that I did the same thing. I painted a tree, it didn't look good and so I painted it on a separate piece of bullet journal paper and then I stuck it over my previous drawing. When I designed this tree, I tried to draw some specific flowers and then my plan was to paint the background of the tree just very pink and loose, but outlining it in a fine liner kind of ruined it and didn't make it look so fluttery and delicate like the tree is meant to look. So that's why I decided to just cut out more bullet journal paper and just stick it on top. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm still very new to watercolor and for some reason I struggle so much with trees. I don't know why that is, that's just I guess something about me, I just struggle with trees when it comes to watercolor and so that's why I'm doing this separately. But yeah, remember if you ever make a mistake in your bullet journal, you can always just cover over it with another piece of paper, exactly as I'm doing right now. I'm still not 100% satisfied with how the tree turned out. I wish I had left more white spaces so that I could draw more of the tree branches that are hidden between the leaves, but it's fine. I didn't have time this month, I was so stressed with everything else going on, so this is the result. But overall I still really like this calendar page. I love that my monthly goals and my positivity log is like a Dutch door. I noticed that for my positivity log I don't need as much space as an entire page like all the time. So I thought maybe doing a Dutch door would help and it allows me to have one drawing but for multiple spreads and I really liked that for this month because I really needed it with everything going on in my life. So for my next spread, those of you who are not new, you're probably wondering where is my habit tracker and my weight tracker? It's still in here, don't worry. When I was sketching this, I accidentally drew the Imperial Palace on this page instead of the next page, so I basically just switched the order. I put my finances spread and my brain dump on this page, and then I did my habit tracker and my weight tracker on the next spread. Um, I really wanted to do the Imperial Palace on this page because for the last three months I have done the castle that correlates with each movie on the brain dump page, and I thought you know, Mulan doesn't have her own castle, but we do see the Imperial Palace and it's a beautiful palace, so I thought that would be appropriate for the brain dump. I really loved this painting that I did. Like, I know it hasn't got to it yet, but just wait and see how colorful and vibrant this is. This is definitely the most vibrant and most colorful painting I have ever done in watercolor and I loved it. I really wanted to capture the magical vibe that we saw from the Imperial Palace. I'm sure during the day, at a normal time, the Imperial Palace didn't look as colorful, but in the movie, we literally see it with fireworks in the background constantly. Like from the minute she gets there, there are fireworks going off, and then Shan Yu is killed by fireworks. So there are just fireworks constantly and I really wanted to capture that and all the colors in this painting. 
so yeah that's what I did and I tried to make the windows more like ombre they're not actually ombre in the movie they're like actual walls but um, on the shop Disney website they released a castle collection and for Mulan they did the Imperial Palace and that's the reference for this painting by the way it was the 3d model that they did of the Imperial Palace and it lights up and the lights come from the walls of the palace in the movie they don't show it like that but I really liked how it looked in the Shop Disney website, so I decided to mimic that building here. And I loved it, I thought the blue was so bright and colourful, and I loved the ombre effect of the windows. And yeah, this is definitely one of my favourite paintings in the entire setup, because it's just so vibrant and so colourful. Also, so I did fireworks on the front cover as well, and I'm just going to briefly explain how I did them. I looked up images of fireworks online and I looked at the ones in the movie and basically you see like a bright white section in the firework and then the color coming off of it. Obviously the white bit in the middle is like the part of the firework that's burning and on fire and then the color is coming out. And I initially just tried on a scrap piece of paper just doing the fireworks like without the black fine liner but it didn't look that vibrant or that bright. So I basically used a black fine liner and just drew like the shape that I wanted and then the little dots at the end. And then I outlined them in the color and that really made it have this vibrant look. So if you wanna do fireworks, I really recommend doing it like that because it literally feels like the fireworks are popping out of the page and I just love it. So onto the habit tracker and weight tracker page. For this spread, I decided to do the training area where Mulan and the other soldiers train. And this is based off of a specific screenshot from the movie. She arrives and she's like looking through the gate and then we see all these tents lined up. And that's the picture that I chose to copy. But I also decided to include two other things in this spread, which is the first one is the post in the middle. I, whenever I think of Mulan, I specifically remember when the arrow was shot at that plank of wood holding up in the air and Shang said to everyone like, you're gonna get that with those two big like golden, I don't know what they were, but like they were like massive golden coins that were hanging from their wrists and they had to somehow get the arrow while holding those. And so I really wanted to put that in the middle because that always stood out to me when I remember the film. And then on the far side here we see the tent that is the general's tent. I'm not quite sure if this is actually the tent that General Shang slept in, but we do see him talk to his father in this tent before his father goes off and gets killed. And so I really wanted to include the tent because it also has that beautiful dragon emblem on it. And I just felt like the spread was really missing without something in that corner. I initially drew all of the mini tents and the flags and the posts. And I was just looking at this corner like it's so blank and I need to fill it with something. So I decided to do that tent because it was definitely more decorative than everyone else's tent. And yeah, I really enjoyed this painting. Um, in the movie we do see the mountains and the sky in the background obviously and it looks a lot more vibrant but I didn't want to interfere with my habit tracker and have something in the background of that so I just drew the tents on the bottom and I felt like it still looked really vibrant and I really liked it. So on this spread this is my productivity log. This is where I basically just highlight what I'm doing throughout the day. Like I track my sleep here, when I'm being productive, when I'm exercising, I do it all on this spread. And in this corner, I just decided to paint the mountain covered in snow that Mulan blasted the cannon at that caused the avalanche that basically killed the entire other army. Um, that was like basically when Mulan saved everyone. Like it was mainly this moment because all those soldiers were gonna come and kill everyone, including the emperor and this is when she saved everyone. Obviously she saved everyone again later when the Emperor was kidnapped by Shan Yu and she like 
you know, stopped it from happening. But this avalanche moment was such an amazing part of the movie because all the other soldiers were just like, okay, we have to fight the other soldiers and if we die, let it be, you know? But she was so smart in this scene and I remember always thinking about this whenever I thought of Mulan. Like she knew that fighting all those soldiers was not gonna amount to anything and they were all just gonna die. And she just took her chances with the avalanche even if the avalanche killed them as well, at least it would have killed the bad guys. And I just thought that was so smart and so brave of Mulan. So I really wanted to include a shot of that avalanche in my spreads. Also, so now I'm moving on to my first weekly setup. And I didn't mean to begin setting this up off camera. If you guys have noticed in my previous setups, I set up the rest of my weeklies off camera just so I can show you guys the drawings. But I normally set up my entire first weekly on camera. And when I was trying to set up the other weeks, I accidentally started setting up this setup. So that's why this one was partially set up already. But on this page, I included the flower comb that she wears and then this is the scroll that is the summons of her father to go to the war and I thought they went well together because she was wearing the comb in her hair and then she literally put it down next to her father's nightstand and took his scroll and then went off to war and so I thought they would work well together on one page and then for this spread my next weekly um, I thought these went well together this is the dragon statue that represented the god that Mushu was trying to pretend he was. I don't know if you guys remember, but in the beginning of the movie, um, <laughs> her ancestors tell Mushu to awaken this dragon god and have her have the god protect Mulan throughout her journey. But then he broke the statue, and so he went instead. And that statue was just really funny. Like I thought it was funny that that happened. So. I really wanted to include that statue here. Also, I'm very proud of my painting of this statue. The reference photo that I chose was kind of in the sunset view and it had a pink undertone and I, I found that difficult to work with, but I really liked how the painting turned out. And then on this side, this is just a section of her family's garden. There was this wall that had like a complete circle hole in it as the entrance to the garden with the greenery on the side and I just thought it was so beautiful and it always makes me think of that movie so I really wanted to include that here and since the statue and this are all in the garden and they're in the same area I thought I would include them on the same spread and I was really happy with both of these paintings and I really liked them. So for my third weekly I kind of went for a darker scene of the movie but I had to include this because one, when I recreate these spreads that are from the movies, I try to recreate the princess's world as we see it. And one of the things that is so prominent in Mulan's world is that she'd probably never experienced any horrifying thing in her life, and yet she went off to war. And I specifically always remember when they were done singing the song about the perfect girl, and they arrived at this village that was completely burnt and destroyed, and Shang's father and his entire army were killed there and this scene was just very important in the film it's a very important moment for Mulan because this is the most terrifying thing she's ever seen and this is Shang experiencing a ton of grief and I don't know if you guys remember but one of the other men found his father's helmet and gave it to him and he put his own sword in the cliff like at the edge and then he put his father's helmet on it and then Mulan put this little doll that she found with it and I just thought this was a really sad but also beautiful moment in the movie you know like she was paying her respects to what she had seen and I can't think of Mulan without thinking of this scene like I vividly remember it from my childhood and it's kind of dark but I had to include it in this setup because it is a huge part of Mulan's world Anyway, moving on to the next weekly, this is her father's armor that she stole at the beginning of the movie and I thought this would go well on this spread. I basically put the armor that she stole at the beginning of the movie and then on the other page is Shan Yu's sword and the crest of the emperor that she gets to take home as a gift to honor the Fa family and I just thought they went well together because it shows like how she began the movie and then how the movie ended 
and you know she got what she wanted she was able to bring honor to her family that she felt like she couldn't do through marriage even though that's what she was expected to do but she just one-upped it completely you know and yeah I just wanted to represent that on that spread and so now we're on to the final spread of my setup which is my monthly check-in and my monthly review page I keep these pages a little more simple if you're new here basically for my monthly check-in I check in twice a month on how I'm doing emotionally physically and with my mate management and then my monthly review page I just write a few questions and I answer them every month and I just did some simple lanterns and some cherry blossoms and I really liked how this page looked. The lanterns really livened it up because I was initially just going to do the flowers but the lanterns made it really pretty and I really liked it. Also if you are still here watching this very last spread at the end of my setup I just want to say thank you for hanging around this long. I know I talk a lot and I have a lot of spreads so thank you for sticking around this long to watch the complete ending of my video. So here we are at the end for the final flip through. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you're still here and I really hope you enjoyed this Mulan theme. Please subscribe and like this video and I hope you look forward to what princess I do for next month's theme. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite, which is your least favorite spread. My favorite is probably the brain dump with the Imperial Palace. I just loved how that painting came out. It was so vibrant. But yeah, let me know which is your favorite and yeah, just comment down below if you're still here because I'm very curious to know how many people stick around this long. And yeah, I hope you guys just enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.